What's going on guys, welcome back to another beer review. Today we're reviewing Perfect Storm, which is by Vocation uh, Brewery. I don't know if this is the first Vocation Brewery that, I'm sorry, beer that we've had before, but I've definitely had Vocation quite a few times um, like in, outside of beer reviews. This beer is 6.6% and a full 14 more can, so we're looking at 2.9 UK units. Um, and it's a New England Pale Ale. It's been a little while since I've had a New England, so I'm quite excited about this. And it says on here, packed full of citrus aromas and boatloads of hops, this New England pale is always dank and juicy with full-on flavours and low bitterness. If it follows through on that, we're going to get a high score from this one. Um, I'm just trying to see if it says anything about the hops, but I don't think it does. It does say, obviously, boatload of hops and citrus aromas, so I think we'll be... We could perhaps assume that it's got citra in there, but I don't know about uh, anything else. So that being said, guys, let's just get it cracked open. It's got this lovely just, just black um, ring pull and nothing else. Really dank on the nose. Tiny bits of floral, but mainly dank actually, wow. It's like almost, it's going to sound really weird, it's like almost cheesy. hope that makes sense to you guys. Straw to very, very light amber colour, I would say. Orangey, really. Nice and hazy, actually. Looks more orange on the camera than it does in my hand, but it looks really nice on camera. That actually nice in my hand as well. We'll give it a minute just to settle so that we can just pull the full can out. Nice head, dissipating fairly quickly, but a little bit kind of pillowy as well. There we go. Oh, I can see all the sediment in there. That's lovely. That's really good. Yeah, odd, odd smells. Um, a little bit like really raw orange peel I could get. Um, as well. So, without further ado, guys, let's. No, a little bit, a little bit more fruity on the nose, almost marshmallowy. Let's get into it, guys. Hmm. Wow. Super grapefruity. I don't think I've ever had a beer that quite tasted like that. It's got this like quite strong, um, really rindy flavour of like either grapefruit or orange, that kind of thing, but it's really when you bite into almost like the white of it. Um, I hope I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying with that. Because that's really, really the flavour that I'm getting. It's so unique. Um, I wouldn't say it's 100% it's, it's pleasant. It's not bad. But I wouldn't say it was great to have a whole beer that, that tasted like that. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt in the sense that this beer is about one week away from uh, best before date. So maybe that's something to do with it. I'm not going to put it past it. But... Oh yeah, very, very unique. We'll try to get some more flavours, really, other than this just kind of odd orange peel uh, flavour that I'm picking up. A little bit zesty, maybe, but yeah, mainly that, mainly that really odd kind of pulpy, zesty flavour. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it was bad, like like I said just just now, but um, yeah, very um, very kind of odd. It wasn't really what I was expecting with this beer. I've, I have had this beer a little while. I won't lie, and like I say, perhaps some of this review may be in my story of it, or um, or how close it is to its use by date. But you'd imagine that, you know, don't put use by by dates on a beer if you know it's going to perish sooner than that. You put it on, you know, um, you put them on for a reason, don't you? So, yeah, really, really not what I was expecting with this beer. 
Um, and I wouldn't necessarily say it was the flavours that I 100% associate with New England IPA. Um, now, New England's for me, um, they are juicy, they are danky, danky, dank. Um, they are, you know, hoppy, all that kind of thing, and they're really, you know, hazy. This one is really just like, it said low bitterness. I'm getting much more bitterness than I was expecting. So yeah, um, a little bit disappointing. I tiny, got a tiny bit of peppery flavour then, um, which again, unique for sure. Um, I think I'm ready to rate it because um, I can't, it's, it, it's, I think it's the fact that it acknowledges the fact that it's dank and it's really dank. It's almost giving me um, flavours of, a, if this was a double IPA, I, wouldn't, I would be less surprised about the flavours, I think. I know it's 6.6%, but whenever I think of double IPAs, and assuming, and pro possibly you guys too, whenever you think of double IPAs, think of um, 8%, and this is 6.6. .6. That's really boozy and quite dank, I would say. Boozy dank and real, real like rind of an orange flavour. So if you guys have had it, let me know what you thought. Did you guys pick this up at all? Have I just got perhaps a slightly more dud one because it's been on my shelf for so long? Let me know. Let me know what you guys thought of it. This is not an uncommon beer to get. I'm pretty sure I got it in Morrison's. Um, you know, Vocation have really made their way um, into supermarkets. Bearing in mind they said that they were established in MMX, MMXV is 2015, I'm pretty sure. So only seven years ago, they've really come up a long way because I definitely had heard of them, uh, you know, not just this year, definitely not. Um, so yeah, they've really come a long way, but this one um, just is, is very, yeah, unique. And like I say, not sure if I got a dumb one or if I just left it on my shelf too long, you guys can let me know and let me work that out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the beer review. Let me know what you guys are drinking recently, you know, what's new, what's what's everyone trying to get their hands on. Um, and in terms of a beer that you've had um, recently, um, let me know if you've had... Um, this may not, like, it's not very much a particular type of beer, but like a cherry beer. Um, you know, I'm thinking of like that Bacchus one. Um, if you had like a cherry infused beer, I suppose it falls under sours and lambics and all that lot. But yeah, let me know if you've had something like that, what it was and how much you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Remember to like the video if you did, subscribe if you've yet to do so, and as always guys, I will catch you in the next beer review. Peace.